Hey guys, welcome back and welcome in if you are new. So we are going to continue on to boxes three and four. In the last video, we unboxed two full boxes of Chanel goodies and other things that the viewer thought that you might like to shop through. So we're gonna do the last two boxes. And from what I see, these are filled with more goodies. I know it's all Chanel, so let's dive right in. So we have, this is a Chanel pouch, I'm thinking. Ooh, this is from Holiday 2023. These are so nice. These were all the rage and they sold out so quickly. Very, very cute. And actually, you know what? No, I'm pretty sure this was a gift with purchase because if you recall the square bags or the uh, rectangular bags those were the holiday gift or the holiday gift sets so yeah i think this may have been a gift with purchase absolutely gorgeous and so since we're doing all chanel i figured i'd wear my chanel lip gloss this is i think i have two of these and i really really like it this is number 722 rouge cocoa gloss let me see if i can show you that it's so close to my natural lip color. It looks like I'm just wearing gloss. I absolutely love these. So not for sale. I'm pretty sure you know that because I use this one a lot. So not for sale, but I wanted to share it with you. Okay, so these little cuties are actually not Chanel, but they are still adorable. So just a couple scrunchies with the uh, bows attached. So those are on the sale too. A cute Chanel bag so that just that'll go in somebody's order very very cute and these are great for decorating too actually you have not seen it but I have been storing a box down here and then a what do I have in here this box is old but it's just been sitting here so um, I have a Chanel bag here this is a larger Chanel bag in here. I've got this one here. Um, so I actually want to decorate them sometime with you guys. What's in this one? Oh, nothing. So this had one of the holiday sets, a sight to see eye makeup set, but I love this wrapping here. So uh, I want to do something with this. I'm not sure what yet, but this has literally just been sitting here as like maybe get it done someday, do a craft with these. So at some point we shall visit this little pile again and do something fun with these. Okay, let's carry on. So this is super cute. A Rouge Coco Chanel pouch. Just has a little bit of stuffing in it. Ooh, nice zipper. Actually two zippers, which is kind of fun. This I love, and I really, really considered keeping this for myself. I actually did see this already. My goodness, look how cute this is. And it has a snap. It's just the cutest little canvas bag. I really, really like this one. I do want to keep it, but I feel like I have to put it in sale, even though it is so stinking cute. Another, oh, this is like a neoprene. This is kind of cool feeling. Oh, that's a really cool zipper. Just uh, some cute little filler in there. Look at the zipper pull too. That's really cool. It's like the top of the lipstick. Oh, I got paper on me. That is a nice bag. I know you can't really tell, but it feels like neoprene and that is lifted. This is nice. Oh, I don't need it. I don't need it. I don't need it. I don't need it. Put it in the pile. I don't need it. It's really, really nice. I love this. Oh my goodness. Okay. We'll see if it ends up in the sale. It needs to go on the sale for sure. I really don't need it, but it's really, really cool. Ooh, this is cute. So kind of like the YSL that we saw in the last video. This is from Holiday. It's got snowflakes for the poles. That's really pretty. Just a kind of vinyl. I like this. Ooh, the zipper smooth. Just some little paper inside. Nice black lining. Does it say Chanel? Ooh, it does. And it has the little C's. Oh, that's really cute. 
Man, this viewer had a lot of good stuff. It's going to be hard not to keep it all. I can't. I can't. I don't need it, but my goodness. I love this too. Wow. Okay, I think, yes, so that was everything in that box. All right, let's get into it. We got one more. Oh, and I'm going to bring it up here. This thing is full and it is heavy. Oh, we're starting off strong. Some really cute patches. Again, I don't need them. Oh, how cute would this be? If you got this bag and you got these patches and put them on. Oh my goodness. Come on now. I don't need it. I don't need it. I don't need it. I don't need it. But my, oh my gosh, look at that would be so darn cute. Or like if you had like a denim jacket and you like patches on them, but oh, okay. Put it, put it down, put it down. You don't need it. I'm not putting it down. Okay. Put it down. No, I can't. Mm. This is so cute. Oh my gosh. I'm in love and I'm supposed to be selling this stuff. I don't know if I can. I have to. Okay. I have to. Now, if I don't get any sleep tonight, because I'm going to be dreaming about all of these awesome goodies. What's next? Ooh, this is cute. Ooh, it's iridescent. That's really cute. Le Blanc Chanel. Uh, looks, it's a silver pole. It's still covered. <laughs> Just has like a little circle of filler. Oh, that's so cute. You guys know I love to make like mini handbags. How cute would this be? as a little mini handbag. That would be adorable. Wear it crossbody. That's really cute. It's super soft too. And then I don't know if you can tell, it has little tiny silver. Are they silver? Yeah, I'm, I'm so indecisive tonight. I think they're silver, but little, little tiny sparkles on it. It's so cute. All right, we have a super cute Chanel. Oh, look at the shape of this. It's a really big square. That's cool. That's a neat pouch. I haven't seen this one yet. Oh, that's really cool. Okay, we have a stack of black bags. Now I will separate these. Oh, look at all of those Chanel bags. That's where all your little samples come in. And these are so soft. I really, really like these. I mean, you guys know I love the Dior, but the fabric on these is really nice. So a bunch of those, I'd say probably a good 10 of them. So that's cool. Oh, a little teeny tiny Chanel number no. five bag. That's adorable. Ooh, ribbons. Okay, so this one says Chanel and it's like a golden cream. Oh, it's for around a box. That's cool. So if you have a Chanel box, but maybe not the ribbon, that's really cute. Oh, the crafts that we could do with this. Okay. If these don't sell, I'm keeping them. Well, I'll have to pay for them as well. I don't get any of this stuff for free either, or at least I shouldn't. I should pay for it as well. Uh, and then there's some red and gold. Very pretty. So if these don't sell on the website, you bet we're going to make something out of these. So cute. A little envelope. Oh, this is the cutest little bracelet. Look at that. Oh, that's adorable. With like their wax seal. That's cool. And what are these? I would imagine magnets. Oh, no, they're pins. Oh, cool. Those are awesome. And oh, these are cute. Are these? temporary tattoos. That is so funny. Those are cute. I've never seen anything like that. Okay. We have another envelope with goodies in it. Let's see. This is full. Ooh, this, this is a gorgeous pin. Look at that. Enamel. Oh, that is so cool. Man, I can't, I can't with all this cool stuff. I just want it all. Shouldn't be staring at it. Okay, it's a little bottle. Let's check out what this is. Oh, all right. So it comes in a little velvet pouch 
with the C. That's very cute. Oh, adorable. And then I think it's a mirror. Oh, that's cool. It still has a plastic on it. I'm not going to take it off. That is really cute. Now, I do think um, that they mentioned that some of this stuff is actually from uh, a couple advent calendars, which is cool. I don't know which items, uh, but a lot of this I've never seen, and these are really cool. Okay, what is this? I don't know. I think maybe a sticker, but it's kind of poofy. That's cool. I don't think it's a magnet. I think it might be a sticker. Yes, it's a sticker. That is so cool. Oh my gosh, I'm loving all this stuff. All right, let's see. Oh, this is cute. This is a bookmark. Oh, one of those magnetic bookmarks. It's double-sided. How cute is that? Oh, that is really, really cool. It's a little magnetic bookmark. Here is one of their seals in the package. That's cool. And what is this? Oh, this is a bookmark too. This is actually really cool. A number five bookmark. Oh, that's awesome. These are fun. So I actually got these as a gift from another viewer. Um, they're just black and white, but I actually put them on my, um, my iPad keyboard and I love them. Um, but this is a different color, but these are so fun. So there are two packs of these. Quinn's staring at me, like usual. I left the door open today, so he's staring at me. Oh, he's gone. That's all I had to do was say his name. Uh, what are these, stickers? Yep, some stickers. Those are really cute. Ooh, this one's neat. So it's a sticker as well. That's cool, it's uh, raised a little bit. Oh, I like that. What are these? Uh, oh, some more temporary tattoos. Ooh, I like this one. Okay, I don't need it because I already have some, but look at that one in all white and black. Oh, that is cool. Really, really neat. This one looks like for more like a regular keyboard, but very pretty. <sighs> I don't need it. I don't need it. Well, these are kind of cool. So these are epoxy stickers. How fun. They're like little bowling stickers, but for Chanel. That's cool. Those are neat. Chance strikes. Oh, they all say chance. Oh, game of chance, game of chance, chance strikes. Oh, strikers, chance strikers and game of chance. Oh, those are really cool. Okay, so that was everything from this envelope. Don't worry, there's plenty more. Uh, let's go for, oh, fun. So these are all note cards. Wow, that's cool. Let me know in the comments, do we leave this as a full set or do I break them down? Really, really cute. Oh, something in plastic wrap. Oh, cool. It's a bar of soap. Hmm, neat. So number five, bar of soap. It's got the Chanel sticker on it. Well, that's cool. I do love my Dior soap. Really cool. What are these? Oh, it, it looks like cards, but I think it's a book. Number five, Chanel Paris. Oh, this is cool. I have no reason to keep this, but this is pretty cool. Oh my goodness. Oh, how cool. Okay, let me see if I can show you. It's a flip book. Can I show you? That is really cool, and it has different years on it, so it goes through the years. 
That is so cool. Okay, I'm sure I didn't do that justice, but that is really, really cool. What is this? Chanel number one. Oh, funny. I actually did have this once. This is the headband. So nice for, for you're doing your makeup or you just want to get your hair out of your face. It's actually very, very soft and it has the camellia flower on it. Very cute. I'm pretty sure I actually sold mine in one of my previous sales because I wasn't going to use it. I just don't do my makeup that often. Speaking of which, you guys, so my husband and I went out to TJ Maxx. I love TJ Maxx. But I never really spend time in their cosmetics department. So I suggested to my husband, I said, uh, what if you picked out a face of makeup? And then I put it on. <laughs> so that's what we did. So fun. I can't wait to share it with you. And try it all out um, I just basically said here's the mascaras you choose here's the lipsticks you choose here are the blushes you choose so he literally chose everything I did not um, so I'm excited to do that with you guys I kind of saw what he picked out but didn't really pay much attention because I want it to be a surprise when we go through it so we'll do that very soon we'll see how it turns out I'm actually enjoying playing around with makeup and I love your comments too. Thank you so much for all of the tips and tricks. I cannot wait to actually put some of them into practice. All right, let's keep going. What do we have? Uh, Coco Chanel, uh, Mad Coco Mademoiselle, if I could get that right. Oh, a body cream. Oh my goodness, that is the cutest little container. Does it say Chanel? It doesn't say Chanel, except for on the bottom. That's weird, it's really cute though. But it does not have any of the classic C's. But then at the bottom, it does say uh, Coco Mademoiselle Chanel. That's actually really strange that they didn't put any markings on here. All right, what do we have here? A, a limited edition. Oh, a limited edition lip color. I might have to keep this. Okay, well, it's a solid. This is cool. This is a solid container. Ooh, check that out. Oh, that's cool. Okay, let's see what color it is. That is so pretty. Now, I have so many red lipsticks, so I probably will not keep this one. But that's absolutely gorgeous. Oh my goodness. I think I'm actually, so the color's pretty, but I think I'm really just drawn to the way it opens and the way it looks. Look at how sleek that is. And then the way it opens. This is limited edition. This is really cool. So this is color 176 Independente. And it's number five, Rouge Allure. Man, luminous intense lip color. I'm gonna have to look on the website, see if there's any more of these and maybe just a different color. I I would just sit and play with it all day. That's so cool. Oh my goodness, whoever gets this, incredible. I'm jealous of you already. Cute. All right, we've got some little samples. What's this one? A little luminous matte lip color, number 58, Rouge V. Let's see if I can get open. Look at how cute that is. Oh, this one has a little seam in it. Oh, I love the C on that. That's a very fancy travel size. Very pretty. Ooh, that's pretty. It's almost like a reddish brown color. That's very pretty. I like these. Huh, Chanel's giving Dior a run for their money on packaging. How gorgeous. All right, what is this? Oh, another of the body cream. So I won't open that one. So we just saw it. That was the little white container that didn't have the number five, or I'm sorry, didn't have the C's on it anywhere. Does this one? Okay, now I just have to know. Oh, it does not. So it is literally just the same white one. Okay, that's so weird. And then there are two C's. 
sample sizes of one is the um, cleansing cream to foam and one is the replenishing hydration lotion. So Hydra Beauty. Cool. Okay, now let's this is the part that made the box very heavy. Okay, let's start small and then we'll go big. All right, so this is, uh, oh, it looks like they make one for Dior, Gucci, Louis Vuitton, and Prada. But this is the Chanel version, unofficial and authorized by Emma Baxter White, the story of the iconic fashion designer, a little book of Chanel. Oh, I shouldn't open this. Oh, this is cool. Why did I open this, you guys? Okay, I'll stop being selfish and show you. This is cool. Look at all the pictures. Oh my goodness. So much history. So many pictures. It's just full. This. Oh, this is cool. Is it Kennedy? Oh, look how cool. Jackie must be wearing Chanel. Oh, that is awesome. In a pink Chanel wool suit and hat. Oh, cool. At the Dallas airport. Oh, no. That was the day he was shot. She was wearing Chanel. Hmm. Beautiful, though. This is a cool book. What's this one? The Little Book of Chanel by Carl Lagerfeld. The story of the iconic fashion designer. Okay, so this looks like when Carl took over as the head of Chanel. Cool. Okay, let's give you a quick peek through. So it's definitely more up to date uh, photos and things like that, but really cool. So a little more information about Lagerfeld as the head of Chanel. Really cool. All right. Oh, wow. This is thick. So we've got Chanel. Oh, this is cool. This actually has three books in it. And it looks like it's jewelry, fashion, and perfume. Let me put that closer for you. Oh my goodness, I want to open this. And then it has a Coco Chanel on the back. And if I recall, her real name is actually Gabrielle. I will do some fact checking and let you know, but I'm pretty sure. And Coco was her nickname, I think. Wow. Oh, I want this, you guys. This is so cool. Mm. I would say I don't need it, but I do love to read and learn. Oh, this is so cool. Okay. I'm up in the air. Let me go. Let me know. Are you guys like really into this? Should I put it on the website? I will read the comments below. Let me know what you think. Okay, last thing, and it actually looks pretty exciting. I think you guys are going to be happy about this. Oh, is this the same one I was just talking about? It is. How funny. Literally the same one I was just talking about. So you get to see what it is. So this one is a sight to see eye makeup set. So this is from holiday 2023. I can't believe that you are not keeping this. Um, well, it comes with a uh, mascara and a long lasting eyeliner. And then I don't know what color the bag is. So let's check it out. And I'll sell this as the set. I'm not going to break it apart because this is awesome. And um, I think these probably sell for a couple hundred bucks online. So I'll have to do some research. Of course, I won't do that to you guys. But um also keep in mind that this is not my stuff and I am selling it on behalf of a viewer. So um, I'll mark it fairly, but it definitely, I won't mark it at like 200 bucks. So how cute. So this is the navy pouch. Ooh, actually matches that first pouch we opened. Ooh, if you are lucky, you could buy them as a set. That would be really cool. Let's see if I can show you what's in here. Okay, so I'm not gonna open them. Um, just because somebody else will use these on their face, but this is the, oh, it's a waterproof, uh, mask or uh, this is a waterproof eyeliner. This is cool. So there's that one. And then this is going to be the mascara. So it's a lay volume, uh, mascara number 10 noir. 
Really cool. I feel like we got through these two boxes a lot quicker than we got through the first two, but there's some awesome things in here. Um, probably about 90% of it I want to keep for myself. <laughs> so I will um, will do my best to put it all up for you. There were a couple things that really caught my eye. Um, but let me know, especially on that three-piece book, um, I don't know how much that's going to cost. But uh, like I said, I have to be fair, and I also have to be fair with this one. Um, but yeah, if if you guys are not in love with that book, it wouldn't break my heart. I will buy it for myself. However, I do want to make as much money for uh, this gal for our little collaboration as much as I can. So thank you so much for joining me. What a fun haul. I actually really enjoy this kind of haul. Um, I mean, yes, I'm not keeping it, but a lot of times I don't keep everything I buy anyway. Uh, but this was just cool because it was something, a collection that somebody else had curated and I kind of got to go through everything with you guys. So that was a real joy. So uh, thank you so much for allowing me to collaborate with you to do this. Hopefully we have a really good turnout. I know that a lot of people are already looking forward to Friday. So uh, thank you for helping me make content. Uh, we'll make some money uh, for the channel and for you. Um, and yeah, I just, this is such a cool thing. If you guys have any other ideas of, of collaborations. I would really like that. Um, I did have one gal reach out to me and wanted to know if I would be interested in posting some of her jewelry kind of along the same concept. Um, but I told her that I would put out a survey in my community tab. Um, I don't want to get into a rut where that's all I do is sell things for people. That's not really kind of what I want to do. But with this being all Chanel, I was so excited to dive in and see what she had. And I knew that you guys would just eat it up as much as I am. So, um, you know, let me, let me know your thoughts. When I get that survey up, please pop into the community tab and let me know your thoughts. I don't want to push these type of events on you if this isn't something you're interested in. Uh, but with that said, I had a ball opening all this stuff and I know that you, you are ready to shop this too. So, I am going to have everything up for you by Friday morning, 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, you will not be able to shop it before then. I want to make sure that everybody has a chance to pop in to get what they want. If there's something that you're thinking about, please do not leave it in your cart. Um, you know, grab the things you want and, and check out so that way you don't miss it. Um, but I also don't want to hold up the items in case somebody else is interested. So again, collaboration with a viewer. Thank you so much for letting me go through all of your stuff. I can't wait to see how well this turns out, if we should do something like this in the future. But I know that I sure had a good time. So that is all I have for you guys. Thank you so much for joining me. As always... You mean so much to me. I'm so glad to have you here and take care. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.